right, warriors, welcome back. Do your breathing exercise. I'm trying to beat the sprinkles, the drizzles. Look, when we're dealing with narcissism, one of the first things you need to identify is the red flags. One of the biggest ones is conflict resolution. They always need that needing to be right in the argument. And look, I want you to keep this in mind. In your mental mind space, which you need to be understanding, you're dealing with the short bus riders. You're not going to win. Have you ever, as an adult, thought about trying to win an argument against a 14-year-old, a 5-year-old, a 10-year-old? Why is that? Logically, you're not going to lower yourself to their mental level. Because it's not you. You're too more intelligent to risk this than to get in an argument that was not designed to be won. So warriors, pretend to be Confucius. Depending on how they served it up, understand, narcissists are the ones that choose the rules of engagement by their approach. I can act just as Confucius as the next guy and be just as disagreeable and leave. Leaving them in a fl uh, just a cluster, wondering what the hell just happened here. Now look, the kicker is this. When you discard ever so gracefully, your challenge is this. Try not to celebrate too soon. Try not to fade away like they did with that shit-eating grin. See, you have enough class to understand how to fully discard without someone ever knowing that they've been discarded. Where well, you're so damn smooth as owl shit that even flying monkeys, I don't know if y'all have had it happen to you, I have, where flying monkeys come in, the orbiters wanting their turn, and because they feel that they're going to elevate themselves in your eyes by telling you a secret. Which is nine times out of ten something you already know, know or you intuitively felt. They come in with a full on confession. And if you hear it through, what brought it on was this. Because there is no loyalty among thieves, liars, and cheats. All it takes is for one to turn on the other and they'll switch sides. Let me tell you something. When I was in law enforcement, not a whole, whole, whole lot of effort was put into solving crime of gang-related violences, drug-related violence, drug deals gone wrong, things like that. Everyone knows, I mean, it's, it's not a big, big fucking secret that a lot of those crimes get solved on their own through a confession once someone needs a get-out-of-jail card or a get-out-sooner-than-later good behavior card. Let's work out a deal. Everybody's a squealer when it comes down to being in front of the judgment seat. Warriors, I don't care if you have to dance, spit, throw shit, tuck and roll, scream at the top of your fucking lungs, throw an ugly, ugly cry. What I don't want you to do is do it in front of the fucking narcissist. They're watching you, waiting for a moment to come in and save you or take advantage. And for the others that did you the harm, they want to come see what their destructive power did and see if they need to come and add a little more measure to your misery. Nothing to give them more pleasure than to kick you when you're down, warriors. So I'm not saying don't feel. What I'm saying is there's a time and a place for the feels. And it sure ain't right there in front of the one that caused you the hurt. You damn sure ain't going to get any better if you keep going to the same place that got you cut up. There's two different kind of people that are wanted back. 
You on the one hand are wanted for the snuggle love. Narcissists are sought after, run into, and wanted for an ass whooping. They've done a lot of folks wrong. Adding your name to their list is just another one to look out for, depending on how you execute your walk away. Own it. If there was ever a time for you to take ownership of it as a man, walk out with your fucking dignity. As a woman, continue. Protect your virtue. Don't act like you're going to run out there and behave like a toxic ass and give yourself to others ever so freely as if you're hurting others. It's a part of the plan. See, they want you to fight fire with that kind of fire. You're fighting fire with intelligence. Warriors don't depend on the courts to protect you. They're a great tool, they're a great asset. They're great enforcers and at great at listening at facts being reported after the fact. Some of you put blind, a blind eye in believing that a piece of paper is gonna protect you from physical harm from a demented lunatic who rightfully feels in their own fucking mind convincing themselves of the lie that you've caused them harm. And that every time you succeed, you're doing it to spite them. You could be living your own life now. But everything you do is to harm them in their eyes. Anything and everything that ever happens to them in a bad way happened because of you. Because if they were in your position of power and clout, this is what they would do. Warriors, the best thing to do is stop what you're doing and look at me and pay attention. Because if you're in the middle of hell or you're in your future going to be dealing with someone because on the touch and go, someone caught the feels for you even though you didn't catch the feels. You thought you was playing it right. Chico, I was honest. I, I let them know. I thought I was rolling the dice. I thought I made a good judge of character. Now I got someone trying to stick a knife in my tires. Yeah, someone went cuckoo for Cocoa Peps. Look, don't depend on the courts for restraining order. Like I said, the way to report is this way. Report to three different law enforcement entities. In the United States, you report to a federal agency, state agency, and a county agency. You write your own summary, and each one has a copy of your summary of events, names of all that you feel a perceived threat from and why. Chronological order with the dates. Give a copy to each of the three and give an affidavit of a statement, a report, on video camera. You see, now as a law-abiding citizen with no record, you now have the strength and backing of the federal government, state government, and county. With everybody as a witness and testimony given, Scouts honor that these people mean to cause you harm. Unprovoked. As you're living your life now, only toxic asses that approach you have to worry because you can pack. Legally, you can conceal carry and defend yourself all over God's earth. As a law-abiding citizen, you will have the support of those you reported to in a public way that you're being threatened. See, you have a responsibility to thrive and live. 
To put your life in someone else's hands is reckless to begin with. It's no different than logically thinking, I'm going to put my happiness in someone else's hands. I'm going to allow someone else to fill that void and feel miserable because no one can fill it. Warriors, you're always going to have haters. What matters is that you hang around with your peeps. You hang around with your own kind. Many of you are going to still be asking, well, who are my own kind? Who are you? How did you come into this awareness? What kind of study have you put into it? What kind of hours have you dedicated to it? And has your vernacular, your language, your understanding, and how you communicate changed? Remarkably, it has tremendously. Your thought process and how you think matters through now takes a little bit longer. Your decision-making process is now more binding and strategically thought of, well thought out. To a point, narcissists don't approach you because they can't work you up with making decisions on temporary feelings. They can't build you up to make that judgment call. To make a Confucius decisious. And you've passed all the shit tests. Now, you give them. You went from chaser to runner. From walking blindly, playing with the three blind mice, see how they run, <laughs> to leading the pack. Warriors, I'm proud of every damn one of y'all. I gotta wrap this shit up. The drizzle's getting in more heavier istis, faster istis, more istis. Remember, warriors, red flags. Lacking conflict resolution. Pretending to be Confucius is gonna be your way out. That's a golden nugget now. And I don't care if you have to dance, spit, throw dirt, scream, shout, do it in private. Don't give these narcissists ammunition. There's a time and a place. Now pick up your sword, pick up your fucking shield. You dropped it, not me. And clean it off, be proud. Stand for something or die for nothing. I don't know about you. The good Lord picked a winner in my eyes. Smile. You got it like that. It's never goodbye, warriors. It's always until next time. Les mando besos y abrazos. Namaste. I swear I'm gonna poke my fucking eyeball out. <laughs>